behind. Spike down A. See that spike sitting there in flash as they try to hold back side. Such a pesky, pesky, difficult place to hold. But they're doing it. They've been able to trade one for one here. Buzz is so weak and RB healthy. Having to take a step back. Concerned, paranoid perhaps of the flank. The pressure applied from the extremities. Buzz holding. u haul somehow getting away with nothing but a sliver of HP. Being traced. And followed. Prowler not quite finding its mark. 2v2. Kiwi Wee. RB, he was the healthy one. He's fallen. It's all on the Buzz. And he's gotten it down to one. The nade right click. The swing out to buy time. He tries to reload. And the timing could not be worse. Foot, get the pistol. Mr. Fallen stays composed, and honestly, DRX, take it to them up short so fast. When you're looking at foot play in the last game, you're seeing how when they have to forced to make decisions, when they're forced to make the decisions, mm -hmm. it really is starting to crumble, where they don't really feel completely satisfied. They don't feel confident in those decisions themselves. Here, it doesn't really feel like DRX gave them the time to fall into those same traps. So not a big fan of that pistol, but still some success points. They got lamps. That may be something that they can work with later on. And also, Buzz, too. I was about to say that. Yep. Three kills for him. I think he's the guy who thinks he has the most pressure out of everybody on this team right now. Fawn with the opener. Buzz passing by. You were just talking about the pressure. Seize is going to be nice, but there's just combo. no follow up with it. Yeah, not comboed with anything. There. So off of the orb and off of the seize that they've seen, they hold the line for just a moment. Down long, now funneling out of Octagon. That's going to hurt that nade back sight. He's able to get out because of the stimmy, but Mr. Fallen just swings into his death. Those are two fights that look like they might be dry, but instead there's Util that's forcing them to take the fights. They flip things. Maj has shown up. Molly at his feet. Momentary delay. Ooh, the orb too. Not momentary anymore. Off the nade, Mako's still staying alive. Battered. 23. Spammed and now bruised. As soon as orb goes down. Vision will be given. Mako on the hole, trying to keep him back, and he cannot. RB still playing with the Sheriff. The reposition is you see him both jump out of Hookah. Side side step. That Molly's going to help. That Molly missed, I think. Did it? No. Oh, it just barely didn't. And it's just enough to buy time. Well done. They let them fall into the classic. Here are X ideas. It's constantly in these group stages, just relying on the post plant, relying on the time. Mako held on for so long with this full fueled up orb. Yeah. And then RB as well hitting the shots that would have actually provided a pinch on the site from foot. All it took was one, but he hit it. I'm surprised they got those openings too on the site. Yeah. And that hurts, the Red Bull clutch. That hurts. DRX with five rifles in the third round. After losing the pistol, they've been able to equalize. They always rely after losing a round like that on this re-exploration. They did keep the two Bulldogs alive. Don't forget that, so this round's still a little bit dangerous. Look, DRX, full rifles on board. And for foot, you saw the intentions at the beginning of the round. Establish Sharps control, get the orb, and then reset. Both oh, players so spotted, so wow. yeah, they're going to be able to reset, but DRX is going to be able to use this timing to take the fight, but he still wins it. What? And he gets away? And speaking of the reset happening in showers, DRX completely gave up that space, so out of captain, fully safe on the other side of the map. Ah, it's just criminal that he's able to do that with the classic and then survive. The Bulldog now finding it. You mentioned it just a few moments ago. It was preserved from the previous round. It's finding its mark. Stacks trying to snatch him back into this thing. They still have two rifles to play with. RB went hunting with the spike alone. He was the only person who got past that wall. And left. then the second player who picked it up Question. ended up dying farther back, but the spike went farther in. Stacks trying to have to reach his way out of the cover to grab the spike, but instead it's a flash out looking to take the fight, and his cracks who wins it out. Jeez. 
And I was thinking to myself, all of DRX died on that round that they won. They didn't manage to pick up any weapons. So that's a full reset on the Seiko. Back to back now. That's a huge mistake by RB. Look, Zest picks it up. The spike falls further into the site. Which is crazy, too, considering he was jumping backwards. <laughs> he was trying to get to safety. You got to turn your body after that. So the spike does get thrown back either way. Foot now, I mean, much, much better shape to actually take the anti-eco. Full rifles picked up, too, and their bank is huge. So even if they get ecoed here, we're finally going to have a first gun round after. There are some key ults here close. <laughs> I mean, there's one. I wasn't even talking about that one. You were just saying, that's just, that's unreal. This is, this is a very good sign for what we're in for. If it's going to continue to be things like that, where rifles do not matter. What is going on? And you're looking here, Arby's going to have his no command, Buzz is going to have... Actually, he's completely out of the fight. He's close to the showstopper, though. I need to see him start to hunt. But they're not sure this round's completely locked up just yet, so getting in good post-plant positions, DRX is very, very good in these spots. Zest has his molly. There's a KO molly as well. Viper molly, too. There's no way they're giving this up. You certainly wouldn't think so, but I also wouldn't think we'd be in this position in the first place. Attacap playing on the other side of the wall. He's able to take down one. You see the Molly soar across the sky as Captain takes a second. I mean, the Sheriffs might be the MVP of this if this continues. The Molly buys time, and that's a third. Thrifty in a row. What is going on in this game? I mean, clearly. <laughs> Stack's having a giggle. That's terrifying. That is a little scary. Dark's logo on the dude's face. Dude, both of them. Yeah, this is crazy. But. Clear mistakes, I think, being made. Wow. By both sides in the last round, RB going forward. There, not being able to punish stacks with just a sheriff. I mean, yeah, he pulled some ridiculous stuff out there, but the reclear with no util. Trying to take the aim duels. Op in the hands of Kiwi on the defense. You mentioned that regardless of how the previous round ended, we would have a gun round, and that's what we have. And it's a heavy investment, too. Yeah, it is. For some reason, Maj with just a Guardian. Despite having 1.1k, despite cracks being able to drop Bulldogs, that sort of thing. You do have Showstoppers, both available on both sides. Kiwi with the op. That's a great secondary tool, especially up in a cubby like that. Oh yeah, it's interesting, too. The Viper wall that they're playing, the one that's not going through showers, when you don't put it through showers, it's because generally the defense wants to hold that line with an op more often than not. But the fact that there was a trailblazer that just went through there to clear it out kind of spits in the face of all of that. Although it seems like now Kiwi wanting to rehold that line and reestablish it, you just don't really have any knowledge of what's on the other side. Yeah, you can't go deeper, really. Yeah. Talking about the reclairs that Foot left to do. It's not truly possible. They're going to show Stopper out I'm here with the Seekers train. as well. The buzz ready to go. Flash, showstopper, to done. Buzz looking for the third, but the op finds its mark. It's just momentary, though. And nobody there to help out to break the Seekers for Kiwi. So even though he gets that shot off, he gets nearsighted by the Seeker hitting him. And we will finally have two in a row here for DRX's foot immediately fall back to save. That's the sort of execute you can't let DRX get. Right. And you heard in the teaser there at the beginning, before the teams walked out. You see the round in between. Great showstopper exit. Great movement from Buzz, too. DRX not chasing at all, by the way. You heard the foot players talk about how they're very rigid DRX in their game plans. I wouldn't agree with that totally up to this point, but that's definitely been the reputation and it's carried forward. Yeah. But that's why right there, those sorts of things. So if you're aware of it, foot, they've tried to interrupt it with those dry walks, those sort of things. There they had the deep op set up on short down carpets. The ideas were there, but they gave up the space. They weren't patient enough. I think you stick to that setup the entire time, and Here. you're having great success in that round. Careful. A little shower presence for Foot. It looks like they have three set up that way. 
And remember, they actually did force up around those two rifles that they saved. Kiwi with Marshall, and that is one of the weapons. Flash gonna get some info. No way to confirm how much is on the other side, though. And Foot gladly just trample forward and take the space. Again, this is dry completely. They want to take these aim fights. The desk, Ren and Josh were arguing about whether or not that's a good thing for DRX to be relying on, but it's Foot relying on it right now. And so far, it's not really worked out. Spike currently still sitting, sword spawn his foot. Having cracks rotate B. DRX are doing a great job denying the information right now. Yeah. Forcing that Viper wall to go up, which means you're giving up re-clearing any of that space. That haunt gets broken on the other side. Yeah, sure, they know they're defaulting, but they really don't know how to regroup right now. The boom bot from Kiwi would be huge right now down short, but again, he's still with that marshal. So he can't spare the time. Off of the sniper. They figured out where the marshal is. So while they want to funnel their way in through short buzz, it's already taken the line. Kiwi on the other side, <laughs> and the no scope lands. Now upgraded to a weapon. Satchel and across, looking for the second. And the crosshair was moved just a bit too early. Had to make a solo play. Stax is coming from behind. Orbital strike dropped. Zest falling too. Cracks rotating over. Back towards A, where the spike ticks away. Mako not able to land the shots. Tata Captain wins that out. It stacks on the flash and on the swing. You wonder what it is that the play is because Arby's playing so safe, so far off. Having Stacks takes the fight by himself. And Tata Captain wins both. That shot from Kiwi. I mean, just disgusting onto Buzz. And then the rest of the foot players on the retake coming in very, very strong. No scope, too. Come on. There will be a timeout from DRX actually out of that. I think Strat's so far working actually pretty well. I thought they denied the information very well in that game or in that map. That specific round. but not able to actually bring the pressure all the way through. The pinch was almost set up. If Stax was slightly faster, Kiwi's getting traded. Yeah, absolutely. And he ends up doing that anyways, but also that orbital strike, not really considered. They didn't tap the spike or anything like that. They really thought that they had to all in to get that plant down, and that cost them the molly. That cost them the post plant that they rely on so much. And I do wonder now if we're going to start to see DRX's depth get challenged a little bit here. Josh was talking about it on the desk, how they haven't had time to practice with this roster, with Seth in the lineup, at least as much. Obviously, you played the last two games of the Pacific playoffs. And there is history, but it has primarily been Fox and on, yeah. But in the Pacific playoffs, you saw the same old stuff. Yeah, sure. That's being run. You can definitely tell there's a styli stylistic difference between having Fox and on in the lineup versus Zest. Specifically on this map too. Buzz and RB have traditionally actually swapped which of these guys plays the raise on this map, especially back in the chamber meta. That was obviously a much more difficult choice back then. Had a captain pushed off and it seems like for the first time this map there may be some pressure sand. There it is, Zest getting tagged up. He's done, he's dropped. Great dry swing again. Foot continuing to rely on it, and this time it nets them the kill onto Zest. If they wanted to hit this B site, he's a crucial factor in doing so. If they don't hit before this knife timing from cracks down short, right here. These foot players on this site could be very ready for this. They've got a seize too. Molly's still up. That knife just cleared. Do they rotate off of it? What are the movements from Foot given the information they just gathered? Add a captain, flashed, naded, trying to tuck. And it's actually off of a molly. Add a captain gets one back. They tried to go through with the Viper all up. That thing does so much damage so fast with the decay, too. If you are moving while it pops, you're dead. No real option to flip. No real option to go forward. 
foot hold them back. This is the best start to a map and a series that foot have had. We've talked a lot about slow starts for foot. Against ASC in that first map, it was really bad. Against EG, it was also very, very bad in the first map on Split. It looked like they didn't show up to the server. Today, it's different. And I think it all comes to that pressure being lifted off of them. Very well, maybe, right? Kiwi seems to be playing loose. He's performing well. Out of captain is too, which has been more of a constant, oddly enough, but. I think it just seems like such an insurmountable task to be able to outplace the three other EMEA teams in this tournament. Jeez. Wow. Little things, man, the timing. He's up Kiwi, to 11. Kiwi finding the window to take the wide swing and hold that angle during the peak from Zest is just beautiful. Okay, this is important here for Mako. Oh. Bigger fromage. I like that he goes for that lurk. That's something that you can definitely use to interrupt. You saw it work on the pistol with more players behind it. This time he's rushing though. Last player standing. <laughs> what? Things are what falling apart on? very quickly. Cracks. Just one tap, two players. Kiwi one taps buzz immediately in the beginning of the round too. That must have been Prius. I <laughs> think <laughs> the last two. But again, just surprising, right? Like for DRX, yeah, there was a cheeky play to try to lurk into the smoke left. and disrupt, as you were saying, but it just feels like the last, what, three rounds, there just hasn't been that, enough of that flash that we saw at the beginning from DRX. And you're not seeing as well the players on DRX have the same sort of energy in making individual plays. 12 seconds to hunt RB right now. 10 seconds left. They're so close. Can you preserve the gun? No. A prime game in Flawless comes through his foot. Get up two rounds. Tough situation for RB. Oh, yeah, miserable one. Looked like he activated the exclamation point among all the guards <laughs> hunting for him. No gun will force a couple players to be very low on this economy. Stacks look stressed, man. We've, we've talked about it a lot. Stacks, in terms of his individual performance throughout this season, has been okay. It hasn't been like, you know, mouse kiss stacks action, none of that really. But I think it's very excusable given the situation in front of him. Ult down short. Oh, there's interesting here. There's not a ton of layer to this. It's just him by himself. There was a prowler that went the other way, but there wasn't a combo. There wasn't pinned from sand. Off, off, oftentimes, when you go that deep, you get stuck. Yeah. Stacks, not confident enough to push up, but he only has the Sheriff. It worked last time, but not this time. Doesn't even get a chance to shoot it. Yeah, that's a lack of information for Stax. He yeah. thinks there's more behind it than you said. Spike down A. Kiwi able to hold that line and get both. DRX once again thrown into disarray. I look at the choices being made by DRX, not only in the server, but with bringing in Zest, the kind of mind games they're playing about who's going to play in the starting lineup beforehand. And I'm thinking back to Masters Berlin where they had Lockyer on the roster. Oh, that's a deep cut. Another prime game in Flawless through for foot. It, does, it didn't seem like back then anybody was super happy with those decisions being made. Yeah. That was their last attempt at a six-man roster and it fell flat on its face. They gave up on it after that. As is often the case. Lockyer didn't even play it following chance. But may I remind you, Josh brought it up on the desk. That was the only time DRX has not made it out of groups was Champions 2021, way back in the day. Completely different situation now. They've, they've broken down so many of the things you think about when you think about this team falling short at global events. But man, I can't help but think. Yep. History's repeating itself right now. I can't help but think they're falling back into the same patterns that continuously put them short of a podium finish. Well, foot call a timeout, having won the last four rounds in a row, up three rounds in this first half.
question what this one would be for. Either way, it's going to give DRX a chance to talk through things with their team, Permi to touch base with the squad, make any adjustments they may see. It's been very rare that Foot's been in this position to be able to <laughs> offer encouragement during one of these timeouts. They're often down having to call a timeout and go, guys, we got to fix this, this, and this. And it's funny because the opposite side too, DRX, during playoffs, Termi was giving a lot of rain to his team to play without him. He was going long stretches of time where they were losing maps and he was just not calling timeouts at all. We've already seen one, of course. Blinded. Foot are so intent on controlling early showers. And they've done it in a similar degree through short. Marco again trying for this. Is this angle too? And he's not even looking where he died the last time. Exact same play. Finally gonna find a kill though. As he just thought he was unlucky the first time. Surely they don't do that again. He was right. He was 0-8 before that. Yeah. Marco 0-8, are you kidding me? What did they reset off of this? He may be in trouble. Dead. He's dead. Fire. He's got to understand that there was some showers presence. You just didn't know how much. Meanwhile, the hit's out towards B. Out of captain, still holding elbow. Showstopper in his face, and it's traded. So lucky trade for out of captain, but Buzz, I don't know if he should be dying there. Either way, they've corralled them on the site. I thought this was going to be a good round for DRX because they could fall off and play the post plant. Win condition for them, but now they can. They still have the orbital strike from Zest. Currently holding elbow. Has to stay alive. Prowler in the face of RB. The snap out on Damage is clean. And RB's left alone. The safety valve gone. He's gotten it down to one. Looking for the target, and it's not able to land. Mr. Fallen with three and another round for Foot. So well handled for Foot. When the opportunities present themselves, they're ripping off the faces, but have to be critical of DRX there. They had two key ults, not a single one used. They were in position to still win that. They had control of elbow. And there's no brimstone ult to support RB on the site. There's no Molly coming in from Zest. Why is Zest even peeking in that yeah. case? Why isn't he wrapping around? I was just thinking that. I don't understand the peek. Marco laughing at the situation right now. When he's been the he's been the most consistent factor so far for DRX in this tournament specifically. Yes, overall too. One of the most storied controllers, but they're not doing anything to interrupt foot doing this exact thing over and over and over. Countless amount of rounds now where they send three through showers. This time it's a bit of an adjustment because cracks is rotated off, but they've gained the space. And once again, they have them surrounded. They have them corralled and controlled. They get this position every time with no util. Yeah. It's just so free. And because DRX don't even have someone holding in spawn, they can't comfortably take teleporter and go back showers. Complete ignorance as to what's on the other side. All right. Giving up the site again, though. This time, Mako has his ult. I mean, Foot has four, though, as a counter. Nightfall could be huge as well. With the Viper pit up. This punch that Foot have to throw back isn't just a jab. Look at Stacks. Traded ults all around right now. He's gone so far up. Finished. It's going to be one for one. The Molly's gone, though. That Brimo gone again. Foot still has so many tools. They have the Rubble Strike. That's one. They have the Pit. They have the Nightfall, too. Everything dumped into this. Numbers still up. Foot now pushing forward, trying to jump out of the site. And it's chaotic. Stacks and Mako, the two that remain. The Diffuse has almost gotten to half, but it's interrupted. Mako, 1v3, and that's the round. Foot, get another. What is going on with the RX? That's two rounds in a row now. They, they get the B site. They should be able to set up very well. We know how good they are in post plans. It's just not working today. Stacks there needs to get that kill before Zest falls into his post plant lineup position. Didn't use his ult, didn't use his molly. Mako on the site there is only meant to buy time for that second layer. But it's getting ripped apart before they even get to peel the onion. Finally, some adaptation. A slightly later flash, but uh, honestly, it doesn't do very much to dissuade. 
QB 16 and 6, by the way, definitely his best performance so far. This half gonna look like the best half for foot. Second flash now. Used by stacks, torch showers. Finally, he's looking to stop them from getting that flank off every single time. And it's nuanced in how he did it. I mentioned earlier, it was a slightly later flash. He'd been using it off the gate, this time a little bit later, just a few seconds to see if there's anyone coming up in the second to confirm, but he gives the space back up. So happy to save dry fights again, and Buzz is dead. That nade causing some problems. The trailblazer are out. They have hookah control as well here. It's a little bit of a stronger push. But they can play through the smoke. The toggling of utility is so nice by the controllers. He's going to try to funnel his way out. Can they hold the line once more? Numbers big for foot, and they're just getting better. Zest subbed in into a 1v4. Face of Showstopper, a prowler. There's nothing he can do. A 9-3 half. Not what you expected to start off this game. DRX is in big trouble, and the only word I can think of is yikes. That's just brutal. That's just brutal. A foot with full control. And again, is it because there's a little bit more levity in the camp, given that they've qualified for champs? I have no idea, but it's working. Golden Boy, I mean, is there a way for DRX to get back into this thing? Well, in order for me to not seem like a complete ding dong, I hope I hope they have a chance. No, <laughs> no, there is not. Nice. Foot looked like I a, know. Foot looked like a totally different tier team on yeah. mind. Uh, they're just showers pushing every time, flank yeah. retaking, the post plants are getting punished. It's all gone to pot. It's all gone wrong. I mean, DRX are giving them so many individual ones. Like the instances like this. RB, by the way, he's got two teammates behind him on B, uh, B long. Nobody's with him when he's making this play, pushing onto the side. When Fuzz goes down, they have got no way to get back into it. They are giving Foot exactly what they want, which is these individual one-on-ones at, at every point in time. Look at this, they're all over the place. Stax is having to re-clear down short because they don't have control of it. At this instance in the round, they're able to just push up and play freely, take these individual jewels. I, I think the, the crazy thing is, we haven't even gotten to the side of this map right now for Foot, where I think they look most impressive. <laughs> this is where they start to really play of those yeah. unique timings. True. And take a look at how bad these stats are for the double controller on this map. And when did you ever see Mako having it's a bad insane, performance man. like it's this? Yeah. He went 0, 0, and 7. He was out here James Bond in it. And then he went 0, 0, and 8, and only got three kills towards the end, overtaking see? Zest. It's so uncomfy out there. You could see how much he felt like he had to make plays as well, with the constant lurking down short as well. It, it's almost like he couldn't take a back seat and let his, the rest of his team work the map. He was always trying to push down short to create an opening, feeling that pressure, because he, he has been that guy. He's been the guy who's had to, you know, yeah, the entire yeah. team's had to lean on him. Uh, and Foot must just be feeling fantastic right now. Oh, yeah. Like, the vibes in the camp, immaculate. They've already made champs. Now they're 9-3 up over DRX, and DRX are struggling out there. Yeah. So Foot, killer instinct, got to kick in, close out the map. You can close out the se season, uh, sorry, close out the series before DRX even have a chance to respond. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Foot are basically basically feeling themselves, and I don't think DRX have any kind of answers. Let's send it back over, though, to Doug and Bala. Thank you so much, Golden Boy. A six-round lead for Foot as they turn to what Brand was saying on the desk is statistically their more impressive half. While DRX have to figure out, I mean, do we just cut our losses here, knowing we have Fracture next, or what? Because they just look lost. Fracture's definitely a strength for them, but I'm looking up at them at the, on the stage, and. Every single player looks detached from the situation right now. Smoke's down. Very quiet. Players not, if there is something being said, they're not really paying attention, they're jumping around. Emotionally, I think it's so tough to be in this position. And it's one they know. They've had many, many disappointments. Never this early, though. And when the entire scene is leveling up, you need to be just there with them. And it's a stacks calling a stack on the other side of the map at the B side. Four players on B, three down long, Mako alone. Knife and Haunt both used. Four people gonna go through the TP, following up the dog. Yes, this is okay, but Mr. Fallen's already understanding the situation. Yeah, and they're, they're just gonna flip the map too. Okay. All of Foot go through teleporter, leaving Mr. Fallen to hit what could be a filthy timing. Dissuaded by the wall for just a moment. RB's the only one close by. Yeah, Buzz is in the vicinity, but 
Arby's one looking at him. They're going to rotate back A. It's crazy. DRX completely broken on their original idea and what comes in this pistol. Do they even have the ideas to play here? Knife cleared. Buzz with the spam pushed off the angle. Nade in his face. RB now understanding there is some presence. He gets the kill. The patience pays off. Now with 13 seconds left. The spike still hasn't been sent out. It's still trying to push its way out from short. They're getting the openings. Can Buzz play spoiler in the face of the smoke? He gets the kill. But you're right. Just a little over a second. And they also have the boom bot to help them clear back down short and get into laps. DRX need this moment. They need this pistol. Sax needs to convert and he cannot. Foot up to 10. Both pistols for foot. Yeah, they got ecoed last time, but look at this streak of rounds. They're up to 10. <laughs> 10 rounds with eight in a row is just ridiculous. And Josh is right, the DR or the foot camp is just so happy right now. Just loose. All smiles. Complete shift in what we've been seeing from them at this tournament so far, even in the game that they won yesterday. That's a surprise. We back to our first half antics here. Oh, Spike is not picked up right now. Cracks has to make a mad dash for it. DRX not taking extra space off of that though. Thinking that they need to get back over towards A through spawn to group up rather and make a conceited. There. A complete front. There. Rather than relying on the lurks, which will be split up. Cracks on the plant. DRX on the attempted retake. They have the Bulldog in the hands of Zest. Interesting decision in and of itself. You see that late Viper wall go down for Mako. Oh Mr. Fallen with the seize. The timing on that's perfect. What a seize. That's three players all tethered. The delay is great. Mr. Fallen backing on up. Cracks holding an angle from bench, trying to find another. As the tap has already started, they're overwhelming him. They've gotten it to half. Now the reset, and now the fight. Kiwi on the snap, Kiwi on the shots. He gets three on the round. And they asked for it. Where was it coming? It's coming courtesy of Kiwi One. Killer Instinct activated. Yeah, they're looking for it. Going for the jugular right now. Anti Eco, they lose the first kill. So ready. For the sneaky antics of DRX. Honestly, at this point, they're going to have to rely on stuff like that. It's just stealing the rounds away. Because nothing else has fallen for them. And the no of the kills. Concerning thing, too, is it felt like they were trying to do that in the first half. Yeah. All right, again, Mako trying Launching to lurk. Smoke. James bonding, as Josh said. <laughs> we're referring to the score line, but you're right. He definitely was trying to get up there. Prowler in his face, no showers control again. But Foot with a bit more to work with. Silence, and there it is. They tried to use the showstopper buzz. Looking to greet them early. Kiwi, is he gonna find a target? No, the show stopped. Sass with three, that was clean. <laughs> Finally, some life out of the substitution. The sixth man for this team. Honestly, at this point, not even. He's got more play time. And then Foxy at these global events. He'd be really lost in that situation, though. Yeah. I'd be able to find the guy in two. That should have been the first thing he cleared. Have to swing it back. Have to have a momentum. Lift up here for DRX. And it's got to come from everybody. Mako and Zest in particular, the double controller combination that we were talking about. No early space taken from DRX this time. A peek towards showers. I mean, even Buzz shallowly holding Huka. 
but all afoot are up A short, and they're trampling their way forward into U-Haul. Again, that confidence showing. They get through all the way to laps. No information from Dirac until now. That nade gonna force him out of position. That's a miserable carry and hold, man. It's just so difficult. No real room to escape, and he's overwhelmed by the utility. That's a great follow-up orb there, actually, from Maj. Look how deep it is onto triple. So tough. Zess clearing out the haunt, clearing out Kiwi. He was hot in the previous round. Can he continue? Stacks falling. RB oh, went in the TP. Yeah, that's not what the intent was. RB with two. Spam expecting to pre-fire. Buzz finds the timing on Mr. Fallen. It's all Maj by himself. RB's gotten it to half. Maj is healthy. And that's another pivotal round of Red Bull clutch for foot. Over and over. You're seeing these close rounds, these close situations fall four foot. They look great today. And there's really, to, to what you're saying, these pivotal situations, not a single one going in favor of DRX. That's oh, not true. I guess I think about Sax and his 2K with the Sheriff in the first half, yeah, like that second round. Every second round. Other than that, there's it's just been a, a dry desert. Yeah. Desolate. And I honestly don't even think Foot has been forced to show much depth. No. If I'm DRX, I, I need to stop them from having so much confidence, force them to rely on some of the things that they plan to play coming into this. Perhaps Foot came in with a shift completely in attitude and said, let's just build our confidence. Let's build up this drive fight type of thing that we're taking. Remember, that round they walk up completely up short. Yes, there's the Viper Wall, there's the orb blocking. But after that, you see just pieces, individual pieces of utility that they're able to use to force fights, force aim duels into the back of sight. That's got to be miserable to be on the receiving end of. For Dirac to be losing to basically just that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not really something that, I mean, yes, strategy can, can definitely overtake that. Just some good defensive crossfires, for example. Good util combos, but right now, none of that is to be found for Drx. And you also have to find the timings for it, and Foot is playing in such a way that it's, it's tough to find him. Too suppressed. Stacks on the other side of the smoke, not winning an opener. Come on, man. There it is again. He just, yep. he just ran through the smoke. Just dry, just aim diffing. And it's from top to bottom. I mean, yeah, Kiwi's done most of it, but that's the plan for Foot, and it's working. Even something like that, there's no punish on him being in that corner, no spam to follow up from Mako. Yep. No help at all. There was a dry fight, that one going in favor of Buzz. It was labored. Yeah, interesting too. Maj has been winning a majority of those types of situations, but they're ads up close. <laughs> it has to rely on the spray too. Not the type of situation you're looking for. No. Did but you either way? Like, I think they're chilling here, regrouping again. They know Buzz is alone on this site, and he's weak. After that difficult fight, just 32 HP. Has a showstopper. Very reminiscent of what we saw. Just a few moments ago left. where there was a timing hidden short. <laughs> Here it is, dry walk up, finally a haunt in the back of sight, clears everything. The knife too, not catching Buzz. Kiwi's looking for it, it's another kill. Big ults. Zess investing his, Buzz has his as well. RB with the KO. Ten seconds left. Spike now down. Side control in favor of Foot for now. But it seems like a weak grip. DRX snatching it out of their hands. Cracks on trade. Showstopper still in play, and it looks like he's trying to hold it. He succeeds. <laughs> Carries it into the next round. Crucial to do that sort of thing there. I thought there was a chance for Maj. Final play remaining. Yeah. As he was running spraying. If he got that first kill, maybe he could have adjusted. Oh, that was that was a long time for Buzz to be able to readjust and get that kill. <laughs> The crazy part, too, is if they didn't throw that haunt, if they continued to dry walk all the way up, they would have got value. There's no way for them to know completely that Buzz is alone there. But with the amount of space that he took early to take that duel in the first place against Maj. 
and the, the original contact that they had over towards B as well. TRX with a shower's push. Mr. Fallen waiting on the other side with a sheriff. He spot a shoulder there. And it's just sheriffs, too. Sheriffs and a classic for Attic Captain. This can't be the round that DRX lose the map on. They can't lose to a thrifty. I mean, given how things started, it would be a fascinating bookend, would it not? Utility primed and invested. See that smoke used. U-Haul control still in favor of foot. And the consistent contact. Play just continues, and there you go, RV finding big ones, looking for the third with the Vandal, cannot, Kiwi on the trade. Smoke extends so far out that Zest has an angle to play with too. Uh, Mr. Fallen, potential for a 1v3. As soon as that smoke goes down, the Molly follows the spam. Mr. Fallen just unable to get out. There. As time dissipates. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if you can find a free one. Not spammable on that angle. Taking the orb does nothing either if he wants to fall anyways. And he does have to. Ten seconds left. A formality. It's those kind of rounds that you need to get through and you need to get through cleanly, and that's exactly what DRX do. I think those last two rounds finally are starting to shift in my eyes. The sort of form that DRX is showing up with, it's improving, but slowly. RB coming up. There's been a couple of multi-kills. To build that confidence back up, it needs to be. Coming through consistently. It's a map that they've been struggling with over and over back in Pacific. Oh, they're going. Oh, it's so slow. What? What? And it's canceled. You know he has the ult. He's perhaps just guessing on where he might be. I don't know. I mean, he messed up the satchel there, it looked like. That needs to be an instant shot out when the K ult is up. Off the exchange of ultimates, foot reset. And as we've seen before, it's just context. It's just try. They want to go up short. Now Nightfall used. It's going to attack two, if I'm not mistaken. Kiwi with the kill, with the nade. How many paint shell kills is he going to get? Too many. Too many. More than he should. Big follow-up bolts here for foot as well. Prepare for hell. There's one used. Trying to go up top. <laughs> I, I mean, we're just getting teased with these showstoppers not going off. Mako and RB holding it back. They can still do this. This is a 2v2. Spike in hand. Yeah, 35 seconds left. RB could be rezzed. 30 seconds left. Is that going to bait the swing out? Sax is creeping it forward, but he's flashed. It's all on the cracks, and Sax gets two. Somehow, DRX have gotten up to seven. Where is this sort of thing coming from? Finally from DRX. I love that final play, tapping the pickup on the KO downed. Stax creeps up close. He's not affected by that flash. Yeah, the nightfall there. In between timings where Zest has to put down his smoke, it's impossible for him to get away from it. The nade and Stax with the finishing. Touches on that one though. Back into the round. Um, much quicker approach here from foot. I think it's just exploratory, though. The spike is just now being scooped up. Maj has already fallen. Maj has died to spam down short through the orb. Foot once again calling breaks on the situation. Leaving Kiwi as the trap. It's just the sheriff. The spot that falls off of it. Very clean so far against this light bot. And they have completely reset the ult cycle for foot. They thought they were about to end the game last round. Remember, that showstopper was used, Brim ult was used, Nightfall was used. 
Marsh still has his pitch. But other than that, it's fully dry. It's a nice one out with a singer on the stacks. Still four rifles remain for DRX. 30 seconds left. Buzz with another Spike the deep down. nade, unaware of the fact One that that captain's up close, but it does not matter. Screen down. Another round for DRX. Michael might have known he was in that corner. That's why he puts the wall down and he's yeah. happy to hold that. Yeah. It's a dual angle hold too. Against the long peak or the person who's stuck in that. As long as he's not on the right. Again, well done from all of us. We saw the spam at the beginning of the round, taking down Maj. It is only that pit to deal with, and DRX will start to get even tools, like the Seekers online, to help against that. A counter pit as well, if they ever do give up the site. So far, it's not really falling for them. Four rounds in a row for the defense, five of the last six, and the attempted ferocious comeback continues. Ooh, going out. Oh, and getting pushed off, he's dead. There's the little microaggression that you need to start punishing these dry walks from foot. You are forcing depth to come out of foot strap hook now. Absolutely. Seekers pops. That scares me a little bit. There's no more tool to force against this Viper's pit if it does get used. Remember how good Buzz was in the previous round. Still alive, still healthy. It seems like they may be pushing into him. Whether or not they commit on the safe short hit. <laughs> Looks like they're marking to for a hunt when Mr. Fallen's dead. Yeah, I was just thinking that. <laughs> oh, that's up close! Buzz with another! Buzz with two! You believe yet? <laughs> it might be happening. Streak of five. This is supposed to be Foot's better side. They started off by getting up to match point. It was 12 to four. I think everybody's starting to hold their breath for this. I think DRX knows it's actually possible now. A tone shift in the last few rounds, even at the beginning of any single one of these rounds that they won. Multi-kill, multi-kill, multi-kill. They've changed their setup just a little bit. Buzz is playing up top, and it's actually Zess who's holding U-Haul. The slow methodical approach might be the answer this time, maybe? Maybe it's the pistols, or... Perhaps it's just gonna be more DRX just cleaning them up. Flash out of the smoke as he tries to tuck into bench, and he's caught. That's a weapon in the hands of Kiwi. Zess tucking. They've lost showers. Kiwi's so weak, and Zess knows he's passed right by the Roomba. Oh my goodness. But Kiwi's still running away. Paranoid of the pressure. Zest giving up the exploratory efforts at the worst possible time. They're gonna need to smoke the spike and start to try to get a defuse going. Force them to come out of their hiding holes. Hit available for Mako, that could help. Eight HP. I mean, do you invest it here? No one goes potentially it's safe to spam and another kill for Mako. Eight HP, a bullet, sacks in half. He has to pull off. Can stack to a 1v3 by himself. He's trying to get knifed and he cannot. Of course, it's a thrifty that closes map one. But walk away with the win, 13-9. Right as you believed. It's all a bait. A fake comeback. What a surprise. What a game from foot. That first half put them in just unbelievably good position. This team on the other side, though, they came back to life. You cannot deny that. They looked absolutely flat at the beginning. And clearly uncomfortable on that map. On that stage.